Students from across St. Clair County now have the opportunity to get hands-on, real-world experience in the science around the growing field of alternative energy. Their laboratory is a 90-foot, 10-kilowatt wind turbine and a 4-kilowatt solar array panel system constructed in 2010 near the Great Lakes Maritime Center at Port Huron's Vantage Point. The turbine and solar array panel systems allow St. Clair County students and students from anywhere in the world to take readings such as the amount of electricity being generated as well as current wind speed and direction. Other weather related information is also available. This data is accessible on the internet and will be used as part of the Energy Technologies and Services Program at St. Clair County Technical Education Center and will be available to science classes at all St. Clair County schools. The turbine will also provide some power to the Waterworks Building located on the Atchison Ventures property. The project was funded by the St. Clair County Regional Educational Service Agency and through a grant from Energy Works Michigan. The land was donated by Atchison Ventures. We'll be able to collect the data and compare that to other sites in the area like our weather data that we have here and weather data that we get from Vantage Point and see directly with the wind speeds how much energy we can actually produce with that given amount of wind and as a reference from one location to another as far as being able to generate power. Well we hope it keeps the students on the cutting edge of what's going on. And, uh, if to the extent that there are going to be new jobs, they're going to, alternative energy is an area that's going to grow in terms of employment. We want our students to have opportunities. Students anywhere in the world would be able to go to our website. They'd be able to click on the tech data or they'll be able to click on the uh, vantage point data and they'll be able to compare live data at the exact same time of day to be able to say that there's more wind being produced down at the river or more solar energy out here at Risa or vice versa. French Associates and Architects was one of the partners who helped to write the grant that allowed the construction to begin. French Associates' role on the project is to operate as the architect and engineers for the project. So we helped uh, look at the sites which were appropriate for this installation, look at the materials, the manufacturers of the equipment, and then um, help take it through the process of the specifications and drawings right through to the bidding process and now we will um, act as an agent to RESA to make sure it gets installed per plans and specs. Construction began with the Toledo Quesans Company drilling a 23-foot hole about 5 feet in diameter at the site. Workers lowered a cement form into the hole and filled it with water to prevent it from caving in. A re-rod case was then lowered into the hole followed by a sleeve that concrete was poured into. Nineteen yards of concrete was poured into the hole. Once the concrete began to set, the sleeve was removed. A large cylinder was pounded around the structure to help the concrete settle. Additional concrete was poured into the hole and the temporary casing removed. Before the concrete dried, a base plate template for the turbine was installed on the concrete. The next step was to dig a trench for the conduit to house the electrical components for the wind turbine. On site was a soil engineer from G2 Consulting Group. His job was to ensure the soil could support the structure and that the concrete was mixed properly. He also did a variety of tests to ensure the structure's stability. A few days after the concrete cured, a crane was brought in to assist with the installation of the turbine. The first task was to install the steps that allow workers to climb the pole for servicing. The crew then put the first piece of the turbine tower in place. It fit perfectly on the bolts. The second section of the pole contained the wiring for the turbine, which took considerable time to install. This section also required special handling so that the wiring was not damaged when this part was put in place. The crew stood it on two blocks with a gap between them to allow room for the wiring. When the crew picked up the second section and placed it on top of the first, a worker climbed up to guide the connection and put the wires into the bottom section of the pole. Now it was time to assemble the turbine. Workers put a special harness on the turbine to allow the crane to lift it. 
The harness turbine was raised about five feet off the ground, allowing workers to install the blades. Guidelines are attached to the turbine and a worker on the pole guided the turbine in place and secured it with bolts. Next to the turbine, Sur Energy installed a solar array system, a series of solar panels. The panels have interconnected solar cells, also known as photovoltaic cells, that generate electricity. As the sun moves, the array rotates and tilts to follow the sunshine. Students will also be able to read and analyze data from the solar array panels. Renewable alternative energy sources will be an increasingly important part of the future for St. Clair County, the state of Michigan, and the nation. The wind turbine and solar array panels in downtown Port Huron will be a valuable learning tool for all St. Clair County students and the general public as well. Thank you.